Hey guys, I have some things that I need to do. So we're gonna do a Q&A while I kind of clean up. And my favorite thing about this whole experience has been meeting every single one of you in the comments, on the Discord, and see what you guys do for your hobby. I just wanted to put myself out there too. Yeah, so my name is Aaron, and I've been making terrain for about a year. I have what you would call a YouTube degree in watching terrain videos. <laughs> Um, but uh, I, I've only been making it for about a year. Something that's that's really near to my heart as far as creating stuff is I don't want there to be a money barrier at all on this channel. Um, so everything that I do is free. Another thing is I make all these videos weekly. So uh, if you're new to building, uh, I only have like four days to build things and that's including my boards, like my huge boards. I, I've only made those in like a matter of five days at the most. So um, I hope that's an encouragement to people. We're gonna do a bit of a Q and A. Is Mordheim the only war game you play? Have you tried any solo games? And he gave a couple examples, but Frostgrave was the one I wrote down. So this is my birthday haul. I have not played any other games other than Frostgrave, but another one is in my future. <laughs> At the moment, I am is still learning all the rules for Mordheim. I'm um, speaking of Frostgrave, and their kits for their models are perfect for Mordheim. But you don't have to buy a whole box. You can just buy them by the sprue. So this is a guy called Sprue Dude. He has a website called SprueDude.com. Uh, you can get individual sprues of Frostgrave kits, and if you have her, I would say a Frostgrave kit is essential, because if you have a guy who didn't print an arm, you can just swap it out with a Frostgrave kit, and then it's like nothing ever happened. This isn't a commercial, but uh, I do recommend this stuff. Uh, I got this case, and I'm going to start putting it together. What materials do you enjoy working with the most? That would have to be this foam core. I used to use a dollar store foam core, which is good, but you have to get that paper off of it. And this one, there's no paper. It's like the tiniest of film just to like keep the foam together. It's really, really great. I have, I do have an affiliate link for this foam core. ranged or melee combat for your Mordheim heroes? Huh. Um, I've never, I've never really thought of it as like one or the other really. I kind of give my characters options. Um, so I always try to give my characters a variety, whether they're fodder or not. What got you into making terrain? That's a really great question. Um, <clears throat> it, it's never been one thing. Um, I, have you ever heard the analogy of like a frog that like boils in water? Uh, if it gets hot real quick, the frog jumps out. But if it slowly goes to a boil, like 
it, it takes longer for the frog to notice and before you know it, you're just into it. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a morbid uh, like example, but uh, that's kind of how my miniature making started. Uh, you know, this is weird. But anyway, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm just, I, I kind of just got into it by making miniatures for my D&D characters. And then before I knew it, I wanted things to put the miniatures in. And um, so I would look on how people made the, like, like what people made. Yeah, so I just kind of fell into it by wanting my D&D miniatures to have a home. They looked so lonely. <laughs> what would you suggest for terrain noobs if you're scared and overwhelmed? So if you're new to terrain, like completely new, I would say is like dungeon tiles. Uh, start with something in one dimension. And then after that, you can go into two dimensions and then three. The, the nice thing about doing something like this is it's an easy win. And it's something that you can kind of try new techniques on. You don't know how good you'll be until you do it. It's, it's nothing to be afraid of. I say it a lot at the end of my builds where I, I get, I'm surprised at how well it turned out. I would suggest for your first building. <laughs> Okay, so once once you've kind of done some basic things, you can go into things that are a little more complicated. So this is an A-frame house. It's two triangles with two roofs. Um, if you need encouragement, um, go onto the Discord and just like ask for help. Take a picture of what you're building. I answer every comment, every YouTube video. If you ha need any help, just just ask. Like I said previously. Um, I don't want there to be a pay gap between who I am and who you are. Uh, so everything on my Patreon is a free download if you need a template. My Discord is free to get on. My Patreon is free to download anything. And uh, Leroy is my first Patreon member and he is helping me keep everything free for everyone. Speaking of the Discord, this was a great suggestion on my Discord because it's been really hard for me to figure out how to store this stuff. Um, this is just a magnet, and it's so great. So I just wanted to show that off. Um, speaking of showing things off, this is my new shirt. Uh, there's a link in the description. I hand drew this. This is something I'm really proud of, and it's relatively cheap. So anyway, let's get back to questions. Who on YouTube inspires your builds? Okay, uh, I have something else to show you. <laughs> okay, so this is my first entry into Monster Bash. Monster Bash is, some, it is an event that's yearly, created by Miscast. If you're talking about noob stuff, this is the first terrain thing I've ever built, and it's insane. So this, it's freestanding, tiny little spider legs. It's a, a Baba Yaga's hut with spider legs on it. Uh, Miscast is the answer. Oh, I I love every single one of his videos. So he'll he'll be in the description. Miscast for sure is hugely inspiring to me. This really helped like organize my brain, and I hope uh, I don't know. I hope this kind of helped you guys out. Like like I'm just human. I'm not uh, any. I'm not anything special. <laughs> I'm just a guy who makes terrain and you guys happen to find my video. So um, I'm just really grateful for you guys. And um, like I expected nothing from this YouTube channel. Together I made one subscriber and <laughs> uh, you guys did the rest. Um, I'm just a regular guy. And I really appreciate you guys being a part of this. Um, and that sounds kind of corny, but it's the truth. Like, I, I'm just talking in a room alone right now. But because of you guys, we're 700. <laughs> I, I'm d in disbelief. And I'm really grateful. And um, yeah, so I, I 
don't want, like, I don't expect this to be a full-time gig. I'm not, like, shoveling out this stuff so that I can make a career out of this. I'm just documenting my hobby. And that's all I want this to be. Um, so if you want to support the channel, um, like, there's that Patreon. It's only two bucks a month. You can get a shirt. That helps the channel so much. Um, I'm just happy that you guys are here. So I, I don't know what else to say, but thanks. Summon me again. <laughs> um.